Hello Cancer! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Chakra Wisdom Tarot by Tori Hartman, illustrations by Katrina Sokolova. Hopefully you can see that there. Websites, we have two, ToriHartman.com and WatkinsPublishing.com. Okay, supportive oracle cards are uh, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish, illustrated by, where are you? Jesse Reich, here in the back. I didn't find a website for this one. This book, is, this box is getting older by the day, obviously. But <laughs> no matter what I do, it just feels like it never gets clean. Although I don't scrub it, I'm kind of afraid to. It's chlor or cardboard, but you know. Anyway, rambling, rambling is fun. What do we have for Cancer? Ooh, this is actually good. Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is at the bottom. If this is going to hit, currently the situation is very difficult and not I'm not happy with it. But it's going to go much better very soon. Okay. Things are going to go more your direction. You're just not really expecting it. I also kind of remind... This reminds me a little bit of Pisces too in the sense of like, I don't believe it. I don't believe you. You're telling me things are going to go better. I don't believe you. Slow and steady wins the race. So things should be improving, but it's going to take some time. It should go slowly. I feel like it's like building a brick house. If you build it slowly and surely and you take your time, that should be quite sturdy if you do it correctly. You can build a brick house and make it very sketchy, and it could, like, it could be very dangerous. So just because you make it of bricks doesn't mean it's safe. But, like... The way this is built, I feel like it's slow enough to where it's sit sticking together correctly. You can watch this situation be built, and it makes sense to you. Like, okay, yeah, that'll make sense. Oh, yeah, that'll stay where it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. I feel I believe in that. Yeah, okay, that's good. Um, it all starts with somebody trying to make something up to you. And your first thought is, oh, for the love of Pete, here we go again. Like, <laughs> somebody's like, hey, cancer. Let's do this. I mean, I know I owe you, so let me do this for you. And you're like, uh, okay, I guess. It's kind of like I'd rather they just go away. It's kind of like instead of this being set up again where I feel disappointed, I'm like, ah, uh, I guess. I'm not, in, like, you got the Ten of Swords. You're like, I don't really want to try again with you. But for some reason you do is what I'm getting. Somebody's really trying to show you that they can do better. They really are, and I feel like you're like, I've been on this ride. I've been on this merry-go-round. I've been on it. It doesn't go anywhere. It goes into a circle, and I don't like it. I'm not enjoying this merry-go-round. No. You're not believing in it. And when somebody wants to make things better, and they want to take another, they give me another shot, Cancer. Give me another shot. These two cards together, like, seriously. And not for nothing, this next one. It's not funny, but it's funny. It's kind of like, you really, really, really don't want this. You're like, ah, uh, well, let me put it, let me put it better. If it was gonna, if you believed it would work, you're like, oh yeah, that's great. If you believed it would work, if you believed they could do it, you, yeah, that's cool. This, yeah, sure, I'm here for it all day. But you're like, they screwed up. They only last so long. And then, um, I feel like it just keeps coming around. I feel like what you're telling this person, or maybe this is the advice, is kind of like, listen. We've done this this time, we've done this that time, we've done this this other time. It's never really worked out the way I thought it should. And I've never really been happy with it. But let, let's make this deal. Are we going to make a deal? Let's make a deal. I'll do this. But at the end, we talk about it. And if I'm not happy, you leave me alone and you stop. You just don't do it again. We're done. I'll do it one more time with you. But if I'm not happy at the end of this, you agree that you will stop and you will stop offering me this because I don't want it. This will be your life. And I feel like they're monotonous. Like they keep coming towards you. So it's kind of like, listen, I'll try this one last time. One last time. But you have to agree. If I'm not happy with the outcome, you will leave me alone and we'll move on. 
it feels very strong. Like, okay, like you're talking to this person and you're totally expecting to move on from it. But you're also, you got that harvest here with the Nine of Swords. Like, listen, if it's the last time, as long as it's la as long as you go away after, because you're like, I, you're, you're not going to do this. There's no way you're going to make it. You never have before. I don't see why you would now. Listen, I'll go along with it. But if I'm not happy, if I'm not happy, it's not about if you're happy. If I'm not happy with this outcome, you buzz off permanently. Go away. Go away and don't bother me again with it. Some of you, this is a work thing. And I don't know how you're working this out, but I feel like you're doing what you need to do. It seems doable. For some of you, it is a work thing, so whatever. Kind of like this last time around. Maybe um, maybe you're going for a promotion and you're like, you're sick of going for it. But you're like, you're letting the people know like, all right, if it doesn't work out this time, I'm going somewhere else. So either you help me move ahead, you give me what I deserve, or if you don't believe I deserve it, let me know now and I'll just go somewhere now. Um, kind of like, all right. I've been I've been very devastated before. It's like it's always ended badly for me. I'm not happy. I'm feeling the cancer energy. But somebody's offering you. It's like, hey, let's try it again. And you're like, hey, how about I push out the front front door and then you just I lock it behind you and you just don't come back. How about that? Let's try that. That sounds fun. That sounds fun to me. Um, <laughs> no, somebody knows. Whoever this is, they're I, – I, I don't know how it sounds, but like one last time around the block sounds fair. And they seem, you seem to be making your point because I'm getting the chariot card on their side is like they're hearing you. And in their brain, they're like, this will be the time. This will be the time I, I do it the way I'm supposed to. This is going to be the time I make the cancer happy. It looks good. Let's go a little farther just to be sure. Because they want it. They want, they're like, okay. They seem to believe you. I don't know why they wouldn't, but they seem to understand, like, this is it. You've come to your rope's end, pass or fail. And as long as you make that point clear, they realize this is the balance. Six of coins, this is the balance. All right, you want your last chance, but realize this is your last chance. And you agree, leave me alone, or whatever. Or I've warned you that if you don't give me this promotion this time, I'm out. I'm going, I'm going to find something else because clearly you don't need me here. Clearly I'm not good enough for your little club to move me ahead. So I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm trying though. I do feel like you're trying. Now it doesn't go very far in it before the stress starts. And you're not at all surprised about this. Whoever it is, whatever's going on here, be it business, personal, romance even, you're going to see them sweat. Because it starts to get a little bit nervy, a little bit tricky and it's kind of like whatever's out there why ever they've fallen failed before they're starting to look like they're going to fail again and the stress is there because you notice that they're starting to repeat this pattern and it's almost like you're starting to pack up your things it's kind of like well you know they're like where are you going you're not done yet I, I know but i'm i'm ready it doesn't look like you're going to make it so i'm just getting my stuff together i don't want to take forever if this doesn't work because I feel like you're, you're communicating through it. Kind of like, oh, it looks like you're going to do what you did before. I don't like it. And remember, you agreed. If you didn't succeed this time, then you're going to leave me alone. Whoever you are. Or, again, if it's a job. If you're not going to move me ahead, I get it. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm just looking at the one hands now. I'm just looking online. I'm looking at the businesses I wanted to. You know, I like that business over there. I went to their website. I saw the career tab. They have some things open. I might just start at the in the middle. If I can't get right to the top, hey, I can still start at the middle. Maybe I'll do that. They're seeing the stress. They're, they're getting it. Because I feel like halfway through, there's a conversation here. I don't think you're going to make it. And they're like, it's not over yet. Well, all right, I'm not going to leave till the end, but I'm getting ready just in case. I'm not just going to wait for you to fail before I start picking myself up. If I see, it looks like you're failing already. So I'm just going to get things organized. And if I need to go, I'm ready to go. Do what I have to do. That's a great thing because I feel like you're putting the pressure on and you're like, hey, you, you said you'd leave me alone after this or I told you I would go if, you, if this didn't work this time. So you do what you got to do. I'm going to do what I got to do. I meant that. Slow and steady wins the race. They don't want you to go. They want you to be happy. The temperance card is coming in with the authenticity. At the very least, the true intentions come forward. I'm getting like, – this situation – at the very end, you have the nine of 
cups. So you're going to be happy with yourself with whatever you did. However it turns out, because I feel like either it's done and you moved on, or you got what you wanted because you held your ground, either way, you seem to be very happy. Because I don't, I can't say it's going to go good in the sense of like you're definitely going to, this person's going to do what they're supposed to, especially since it's a general read, obviously. But you got the fool card here with the health. You just got to hold to your line. If you told this person this the last time, when it's over, if they failed, you're upholding your side and doing what you need to do. So that's quite clear. No, I meant it, and I'm done. I feel like most of you... See, I'm getting like a lot of you moving ahead. Whatever it is, you're moving ahead. All right, so just to be fair, some of you want this person to fail. Because <laughs> you're done. So some of you do want them to fail. But you want closure, and you want them to realize done is done. I don't know how that sounds, so some of you do want these, this person or the situation to fail because you want to move on. And it's just kind of giving you the back, emotional backing to like just do it, kind of like, hey, it was all there on paper, and I'm just following through. I'm just doing follow through. That's what I'm doing. Because um, you got the wisdom with an eight of eight of wands, you're moving forward one way or another. Either the situation improves dramatically, or you're out. I feel like for some of you, you you want out to the point where it doesn't matter if they succeed. You just literally want out, and you're doing this to get closure. Not only so that you get closure, but so that they stop and they realize done is done. Leave me alone. Done is done. Um, something better. I there's a really good outcome here. Four of Wands is telling me whatever you end up with, you're going to be stuck with it. Not stuck with it. You're going to lock in with it for the long top, for the long haul. Um, strength is coming in. They're they're believing you. They're sticking with it. However, this if this goes in a way where you end up, this person ends up pleasing you, and you move forward the way you want or you should, used to want. It's there. It's yours for a long for a long while. If it's over and they fail. It's done, and I feel like they're done. They're going to leave you alone, but I also get, like, this sun card is for you. No matter what way it works out, as long as you hold the line, and, like, if, for example, if they're failing, and you they fail, and you're like, all right, and you just move things out the way they're going to follow through. You're holding to it. You're like, I said that's how it was going to happen, and this is what's happening. You get this sun card. Whether you, whether you, whether this person follows through or not, the outcome is seeming to be very good for you. Because I feel like I'm wrapping something up. Um... I'm shutting something down, and like I don't, I don't want to keep this going. I ha I hate to say it, but I feel like for some of you, this is maybe like an off, off again, on again romance, and it just kind of throws your world around a little bit. Maybe there's something about this person that is very enticing, but when push comes to shove, you're like, no, they really can't be the person I need them to be. So this is kind of like one more time around the block, and then you shut it down, and then it's like, listen. This was it. This clearly isn't meant to be. You can't uphold what you need to uphold to. So we're moving on. I'm moving on. I just feel like this is going to be like the closure. The closure you finally need. One way or another, it's either going to move ahead like it needs to or it's going to go away. All it takes is you making that, drawing that line in the sand. Hey, make it work. Show me. This is the last time around though. I'll do it as long as you agree. Either you put up or you shut up. One of the two. And this gets you that closure. It gives them closure, too. Because I feel like whoever this is, you're done with them. I'm not really... I know it's a general read, so I'm not sure if it's business, romance, or something else. But it seems like business and romance are the strongest two that I'm feeling. So kind of roll with that however you need to. But it, it's... Yeah. Is there anything else I need to say for this? I think we're done. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.